Hey y'all, okay, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a cute little knit purse. And yes, I have two because I made one for a friend and this one is a little bigger to hold a larger phone. But I am so excited. I just think they're adorable. Like they're the perfect size to like put under your shoulder and just, they're so cute. And I think that even though we have nowhere to go, I don't know, just having a little knit purse, you can walk around your house or take it on walks when you don't have any pockets in your clothes. And I think it's just like a nice thing you can do, especially like while watching TV. The lighting might be kind of bad in some of my videos because I was watching TV, <laughs> but yeah. And also, thank you so much for 100 subscribers. And hopefully, since a lot of you are coming from my crocheting of my Patrick sweater, Patchwork sweater, not Patrick, oh my goodness, <laughs> you'll enjoy my little tutorial on how to make a cute little purse. And yeah, let's get on to the tutorial. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is cast on 33. You can adjust this by looking at the width of your phone, so the shorter side, multiplying it by two and adding around two inches. And that should give you a nice cute size that's perfect for your phone. And then I did 33, 31 rows and cast off. And I determined that by looking at the height of my phone and then adding two inches to that. That way it's like a little purse that's perfectly fit for your phone. Okay, and then once you've done that, we're just gonna take a look at this just to ensure we have the similar thing. We're gonna be folding it so that the rows are vertical, so they become columns, I guess. And you wanna leave those stray strings on each of those edges because when we do sew the sides, which is what we're doing next, we can use those to secure the string we're using for the sewing. Anyway, just make sure your phone can fit comfortably in that pouch and you are set for the next step. Okay, now you wanna count down all the stitches and make sure they line up. Find the last one on the bottom and you wanna pull a string through that's about one and a half times the length of that side and go ahead and tie it off. Then I used a crochet needle to go and pull that through and just get this really nice stitching through the side to secure it. You could also use a needle for yarn. I don't know what my voice is doing, but, and then once you reach the end, you can tie it with that straight string at the top to secure it. <clears throat> oh my goodness. Ignore my voice, please. And then once you finish the purse part you can go ahead and cast four and then do 50 rows and cast off this is to make your strap and i think you need to be conscious that your strap is going to stretch a bit when it's over your shoulder and you have your phone or any sort of weighted item in it so you may want to make it a little shorter than you think it needs to be but also be conscious that we are stitching it to the purse and so we're going to be using like a little bit to attach anyway leave long strings on the end of these too and so then once we've flipped our purse body so that it is the right side out, that means we're not seeing any of those stitches we made. It's just a nice clean edge. We're going to take the straight string at the edge of our strap and we're going to pull it through into the center of the purse. And then we're going to weave it in and out of the bottom of the strap. Now you can do this on the inside or the outside of your purse. I did this one on the outside, but my blue one on the inside. It just depends how you want it to look. And by weaving it through, you're securing it. And then remember that you want to do your final pull through to the inside. So you can knot it in those strings. It can be on the inside. And then for any stray strings, you can either weave it or cut it so it's around an inch and it will hopefully stay inside the purse. Anyway, here is the final product. Right now, I have my phone in the purse, and I think it's just the perfect little size for like if you just need something to hold your phone or your wallet. If you don't have pockets, I know that's always a struggle. Like, why don't my pants have pockets? Why are they fake? But yeah, I think it's the perfect size. It goes right there, and it just makes me so happy because I feel like it's just adorable. And you can just make it like in a one night, two nights, just watching TV. Because it is only the two pieces that you knit and then you just stitch them together. And of course you can adjust your pattern to be smaller like this little blue purse. And what you really need to do is just like lie it out, put your phone there, and make sure you have space on the edges to stitch. Anyway, thank you for watching. I will be off now with my two tiny purses. Subscribe and like the video and bye! <laughs>